Welcome back to Time Now 644. The word time carries a lot of weight, but at the same time, it doesn't matter much inside the Bear County Jail. For inmates, it's important. The more time they receive, the longer they'll be locked up. When it comes to time on the clock, though, it can be tough to tell day from night. As Katrina Weber shows us, the action never stops, even while you're sleeping. Go in there. There's a lot happening behind closed doors at the Bear County Jail. Much of it starting at the desk of Sergeant John Paul Garcia. I get their paperwork, review their charges, review their commitment, review their bonds. This 15-year sheriff's office veteran serves as a booking sergeant, checking in inmates. Just relax, we can do everything right. Garcia works 13-hour shifts, most of it overnight while most people are sleeping. The people, the staff, uh, the hours were great for me. But even in the wee hours, he says it can be a lot of Correct. work. This person was just brought in, so they do the photo. On this early morning, we got a look at that world. Sign your name right there. With a signature and some printing, the sentence begins for some inmates. Yeah. Most end up in this jail, though, for a more temporary stay, on their way to trial or prison. They're all put through screening, then enter what's known as the holding area. Typically, they will spend here waiting on housing about uh, 8 to 10 hours, depending how tight it is upstairs. Up in the classification area, new inmates are put in order, sorted for jail cells based on their crimes and criminal history. Each unit will have a classification officer assigned to it. What do you mean? Meanwhile, are being given in the jail kitchen to inmates who are up and working. This is one kitchen where there's always something cooking. It's after one o'clock in the morning, and already on tap is breakfast. They start serving around 2 30. While they keep all 3,000 of their fellow inmates fed, we have a schedule to keep up on. Garcia uh, makes sure they all have beds. He's also there when some leave and get a chance to sleep at home. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.